Hey, this is Matt from TPSTool.com. I'm going to show you how to use the Pro Powered Meter from TPSTool.com to set the throttle position sensor on your 2020 Polaris RMK800 Pro. Uh, this is going to be the same for model years 2016 through 2021. I believe they use the same throttle body, some of the 600s as well. Um, the earlier years are also the same. 20, 2008 through 2015 are going to use the same exact procedure, uh, same numbers. It's just going to be a different plug. Uh, so we've got a throttle body over here. You see the throttle body is very similar. The procedure is the same. This one uses a, a plug that uses the Model 4 style uh, plug on that TPS. And this guy uses the Model 2. Uh, so the general procedure is that you back the idle screw out all the way to fully close the throttle plates. Then we're going to set the TPS to 0.7 volts. Then we're going to turn the idle up until we get a reading of 0.94 volts. And that will put you right at the factory defaults. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing we want to do is take a look at our plug. That's a Model 2. So we look at the bundle of adapters that came with our kit. We pull out the Model 2. We're going to plug that in. And then we're going to plug into our TPS tool. And we're going to put the green in ground, the black in FB or feedback, and the red in 5 volts. Now the reason this is done individually like this is different motors will use the same plug but be wired differently and this makes the meter much more uh, flexible which is on many different motors. Go ahead and turn it on and so we're not too far off here. Polaris wants 0.7 volts with the plates fully closed and 0.94 at idle. That's not too bad so we're going to go ahead and, and set it anyway and see what we got. So take a look here at our throttle body and this one has a jam nut. This is the idle screw and an 8mm jam nut. Uh, actually before you start Nope, that's correct. So we're going to go ahead and loosen the jam nut. Then we're going to back the idle out until the numbers stop changing. And I'm using a 2.5 millimeter Allen key to adjust the idle. There you go. All the way out. And this is the Allen key. I think it's got to focus. That's a 2.5 millimeter. Okay. Now you want to go ahead and give the, the throttle a smack let it open and close pretty quick a couple times. Make sure it closes all the way in case it's sticky. And we're a little bit high here, 0.72, we want to be at 0.7. So go ahead and grab a Phillips screwdriver works. It's actually GIS screws, which are very similar to Phillips. Uh, you can tell it's got a little dot on the screw, it means it's GIS. Um, but a Phillips will work if you're careful. We're going to loosen these two screws. We're going to rotate the TPS until we read 0 0.70 on the meter. And you can see it's really sensitive. You move just a little, and the numbers change a lot. So we're going to go for 0.70. And most likely it's going to move a little bit as you tighten the screws. Uh, for this demo, I'm not going to fight it too much. But on your own motor, you would probably spend a couple minutes getting it just right. Okay, 0.71. How much is it going to move on? Let me see. So close. I'll just try for another minute before I give up here. There we go. Snug these guys up. And that's actually not bad. 704 is close enough. Uh, you can fight it more if you want to, but 704, it'll run pretty good. So now what we're going to do is switch to our Allen key. We're going to turn the idle up until we read 0.94. Okay. So we're going to turn this up here. And as we get close, it gets really sensitive. 0.92. Oh, my jam nut's starting to contact the bottom, so I need to so back it out a little here with the jam nut. There we go. Hold the jam nut so it doesn't get in my way. So we can go to 0.94. So close. There we go. So I'm going to tighten up the jam nut so that idle doesn't move. And maybe I can give it just a little bit of a turn here without having to loosen the jam nut. So careful. So close. There we go. 0.94. Right on the money. All right. And if you want to double check that your throttle position sensor itself is working properly, open the throttle and close it slowly and watch the numbers. If they change smoothly with no jumps or gaps, then your throttle position sensor itself is working properly. Okay, there we go. And yeah, it's down a little bit probably because the throttle plates are stuck open. We'll turn it up just a smidge more. There we go. 
All right, so there you go. You've got it set to uh, 0.70 volts with the plates fully closed, 0.94 at idle, and that should put you right on the money for the factory defaults. Uh, this works again on, this was the, uh, the 2020 Polaris uh, 800 RMK. Uh, it's going to be the same for the 2016 through 2021, and the early years the same as well, just a different throttle body. I'm sorry, different plug on the throttle position sensor. Find my email address at tpstool.com on the first line of the frequently asked questions. Feel free to email me any questions or suggestions. Click like if this helped you. Uh, you can buy the meters there. You can also buy them on Amazon, eBay. Um, my email address is also in the first line of the instructions. Thank you very much, and uh, have a good day.